Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com, and we're here today at the Cuyahoga County Administration Building with Cuyahoga County Commissioner Jimmy DeMora. Hey, Jimmy. Tom, how you doing? Thanks so much for being with us. My pleasure. Hey, you know, um, you are obviously uh, running for uh, re-election here coming up, yes. but you play a couple other roles. You're a sitting commissioner. Uh, you're also head of the Democratic Party. Yes. Uh, talk about some of the passions that you have right now. There's other things on the ballot besides your re-election. Uh, especially issues 18 and 19. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about sure. uh, your thoughts on those? Sure. Well, they're very critical and important issues. Uh, uh, let me take 19, which is our bread and butter here in uh, county government. That's the health and human service levy, and that's the uh, funding that is uh, so vitally important uh, to people of need in our community, children, families. Uh, it helps with a multitude of areas uh, where we uh, have uh, programs for job training, uh, children that are in our custody and care, uh, sure. funding for that, seniors, mental retardation, mental retardation yeah. developmentally disabled, right. mental illness, uh, so it, uh, homeless, uh, homelessness, right, it, right. it handles a multitude of areas, and Metro Health Hospital, right. funding for uh, indigent uh, quality health care in that facility. So uh, it is very critical, it's very vital, and it's very important to the most needy in our community. Also then, uh, and so we naturally want people to vote for that sure. and sure. Uh, support it. Uh, oh, they've that? always been very supportive in the yeah, past yeah. and compassionate. Yeah. And this has been something every two, three, four years or so? Uh, usually it's every three to four years, yeah. the issues on the ballot. How's it looking this year? Looks promising, yeah. but you, you know, it's only uh, the polls on November the 7th that That's matter. Right. Right. Uh, but it's all about getting people out to vote and hopefully get your sure. supporters out to vote. Right. And that's what we try to do. Talk about issue 18. Issue 18, first time. Uh, we're going this avenue. I, if you remember, just a couple years back, we had an issue on the ballot. I think it was uh, 31, 31 yep. mm -hmm. which was a close uh, election, couple points, uh, but it was a real points. estate tax uh, to yeah. support the arts. Uh, a number of us in public life and throughout the community uh, have understood the importance of the arts industry and culture in our community. Knowing the, uh, not only the entertainment value and the cultural value, uh, it also brings economic development, right. uh, job creation, job enhancement. And so a number of us have uh, thought this through and uh, with the help of the General Assembly, they've given us the ability to put this issue on the ballot this November the 7th. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a tax on cigarettes. Uh, I believe it's uh, 30 cents additional pack. Uh, and if you look across the country, cigarette tax in general, this is one of the lowest areas for cigarette tax for any type of support uh, in, other, sure. in other areas. If you remember uh, all the, the stadiums that we enjoy here have been paid for with, yep. with this kind of a tax, this would be a critical and vitally important uh, issue that could help our community immensely. Right. Uh, public funding of the arts, we're way behind many of the communities across the country that have enjoyed success. Uh, their uh, enhancement of the arts and culture in their community right. has been with the help and support of the public funding. So this will give us an opportunity to have uh, some uh, new funding uh, for the arts and to again continue to provide necessary and critical dollars to keep uh, the, right. the, the orchestra running strong, the Beck Center, uh, yeah. a number of uh, the Cleveland Playhouse, the public theater. It would be helpful and beneficial to continue to enhance and have those uh, particular uh, operations grow sure. and continue to thrive and be around for people to have the opportunity to enjoy. At the same time, it will also help create jobs with new artists and yeah. uh, new uh, exhibits and things that w will come from this particular tax and this particular levy. So issue 18, again, I would urge and encourage the voters of Cuyahoga County to support yeah. for its importance and the benefit that it will play in our society as a whole. We're hearing now that the tobacco companies are getting involved against uh, issue 18, Philip Morris. There's, there's an action, I think, against the uh, State Board of Elections because mm -hmm. they're not signing their literature. What's your thoughts on, on the tobacco well, industry? Well, naturally, they have a self-serving interest. They want to keep cigarettes at the lowest possible cost yeah. where it's not profit to them. They don't want anybody else to really benefit from uh, cigarettes. And it's unfortunate because this w is a worthy and good 
uh, reason to have a uh, tobacco tax used. Yeah. You would think that they would look at it as more of a public relations or at least mm. giving back to the community. Um, I, I don't understand why they don't look at it that way or more in a positive light. This is not anything that, uh, again, uh, is building a stadium. This is something that, in my opinion, is educational value, cultural value, right. and again, economic enhancement to our community. Right. So I think people will see through and read through the lines and they'll be supportive. Uh, and again, there's been a good number of people out frontline soldiers out working hard for sure. issue 18 and yeah. uh, with all the different uh, uh, advocate groups, organizations, uh, public officials, uh, corporate union leadership, yeah. uh, I, I'm hoping and very confident that issue 18 will right. pass but again it's all about turning out your supporters at the polls on November the 7th that's the day. and that's really the, uh, the key factor and the sure. most important. Talk about the election, and um, the Cuyahoga County Board of Elections has had some real issues here recently. How do you, as a commissioner, sort of uh, try to figure this thing out? You know, there's been calls for Michael Vu's uh, mm -hmm. resignation. They seem to be bumbling up mm -hmm. ev almost everything they can here. A lot of people are very concerned about Cuyahoga County. Uh, had a black mark in the last election, couldn't get the ballots counted. Now they're, they're having a problem counting maybe the, the absentees early. I mean, don't you have some leadership or control here as a county commissioner over this board of yeah. elections to get something done? We do have some leverage with the funding, but we mm -hmm. don't oversee or vote on the the uh, purchase of the machines or the actual election process. That's left up to the director, the deputy director, the staff and personnel, and, they have and their the board. board. They have right? their own separate board. Right, but are you not urging that board to, to call for Michael Vu's resignation? Well, I or? think it's been given already that Michael Vu, after this election, uh, will be gone from the board of elections. Mm -hmm. I think because uh, after the May uh, debacle, in the yeah. primary election, it was too short of a time to remove the director and to try to start and find a new director to get them acclimated to the Cuyahoga County uh, election process. So they left Vu in place. We hired uh, former director Tom Hayes of That's the board right. who actually uh, had some significant success there over the years yeah. in handling elections in Cuyahoga County to help oversee and to try and, uh, uh, again, uh, take a handle with regard to the election this November the 7th. So you're confident that the board that's in place with the staff that's in place, uh, they're going to be able to pull this off? Yeah, this besides election? that we've also tried to encourage uh, new poll workers to come into play who are more uh, uh, technology savvy. Yeah. Uh, so that with the new electronic voting, yeah. they'll have the capabilities of being able to conduct the elections at the polls without real significant problems. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we ran into some serious problems uh, in the May primary with even just getting the computers and the electronic yeah. voting even started up yeah. so people yeah. could vote. Yeah. We're hoping not to have those issues. We're bringing people in from other uh, county agencies to help uh, help. Uh, run right. the polls and the elections. Good. The other thing uh, I want to encourage people to also look at absentee yeah. voting and because we've been doing the same. We've that's really uh, an that. easy way to vote at the luxury of your home. No reason now necessary yeah. to vote absentee. I'm voting absentee. I know all my colleagues are, yeah. my family yeah. and friends. Yeah. It's just an easier way. Plus, there's a paper record. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's hard to discount the fact that you have it in black and white. Nice. In the event of a recount or any kind of reconciliation or uh, checking of the vote sure. after the election. Yeah. So those, of, those are some of the things yeah. that have gotten to... Uh, into place to try and help with the Good. November election. Speaking of the county, uh, you guys are planning a move to a new county administration building yes. uh, at the corner of East 9th and uh, Euclid. Euclid.